What's a happen in YouTube? How is everyone? I hope good. I am here today with a reading. It's going to be messages. Sorry, I want to kind of fix that. Messages from your deceased loved ones. Um, I have two piles that you can pick from. You can pick, choose from pile one or pile two. And this is a, a painting I did. I am an artist too, if you didn't know that about me. I do a lot of different things. Um, I hope everybody is enjoying their week so far. It's going great. It's going by quick so the weekend can get here. So you can get out and enjoy the weather while it's nice still. Sorry, I need a drink of my monster. And they're not paying me to say that, so I don't get in trouble. Okay, Pile 1, we're going to get started with you. The first message I have for you this morning is going to be, it is not your fault. And I know that we all kind of go through this when we lose somebody that we love and we all kind of feel at times that we could have done something better. But what they're trying to tell you is that no matter what you would have done, if you would have been there, if you would have, you know, taken care of them or, you know, um, prevented them from going somewhere, if it was an accident, uh, they still would be gone because it was their time, you know, it, God was ready to take them. And so, so they want you to know to please um, kind of, Get rid of that thought um, so then you know that you're not responsible for any of it and you can go ahead and move on and, and start to heal from all the rest of all the stuff that you feel when you lose somebody. So and they want you to know that they love you. We are so connected. When they um, ended up, you know, after they left their physical body and they went up into heaven, well, I don't, I don't believe that they go up into heaven, but when they when they left their physical body and then they started to, you know, learn about their life and learn, you know, all the stuff that they did and what they needed to correct and all that stuff, they also learned that your souls were connected. You were soulmates. And it doesn't matter if it was your mom. It doesn't matter if it was your dad, your brother, whomever. Um, our soulmates come in, you know, different, you know, obviously it's not always romantic. So they want you to know that your souls are still strongly connected and that, you know, every time that you think of them, know that they're also thinking of you at that same exact moment. They're also um, standing right next to you at times when you do need them, when you do think about them. That automatically kind of gives them like a, like a, let's say, a signal that says that you need them. So then they obviously come to you to comfort you and to be there to support you. So know that and know that your um, souls will eternally be connected so and then your next one is you are never alone I know I feel this way um, I've had a lot of deaths in the last couple I don't know ten, 10 years of people that I was extremely close with that you know meant a lot to me and and that you know really filled my days up with you know if I needed a friend or if I needed anything I, these people are the people I would always turn to and for like the last seven years, I, you know, I don't know if I've pushed people away or if, if it's just that be, because I lost those people, I feel so lonely, but I, I do, I feel extremely lonely. It's been really difficult on me. Um, I've really seen the true colors of people and I think that's a good thing, but I don't really have a life. I don't really have any friends. I mean, I, I, I do a couple, but you know, they have their own lives. They don't have time to be here and to, you know, always be here to make me feel comfortable and feel like I'm not alone. So, but when I started going through my journey and now I, I do know, you know, I have such a strong connection with the divine and with my guides and angels. And we all do, um, that they're always here for us. And we, even though we feel alone, maybe we might be physically alone, but we're never alone because they're always here. They're always here to listen to us. They're always here, you know, helping us make those decisions that we usually ask, say, our mom or, you know, whomever, but no longer can. But you still can because they are there to listen. And they will somehow relay, you know, the message back to you. They will answer you. So just know that. And just know that you're never alone. Dearest you... Everything is in divine order. Even in chaos, there is order, and we are always in awe of this. For you, though, on your human journey, things can get disorganized, 
in your mind and physically in physical reality you need to get rid of the clutter whether it 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 be too many stories in your mind too many what ifs or fearful thoughts of the past or future instead focus on the now empty your mind clean your house and throw out any objects that tells you an uncomfortable story discern what you have sort purge clear and organize we want you to have space to fill with something better spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy let go of what is not serving you and give order to what remains see them and know their value your soul needs organization in order to keep your connections to us and spirit free of distraction you are so adored by so many we hope you really know that so if you have stuff that gives you bad memories um, if you know if you don't if you can't throw it away then box it up and put it in storage or do something you know clear your house you only have things that give you good memories that are around your house stand up for what you know is right we are supporting you so if there's something that you are needing to stand up for just know that you have the whole divine universe you have all of your guides all of the angels God everyone is standing behind you to support you if you're in fear that you know um, no one will be on your side no they will be and know that they'll be fighting with you the whole entire time so go for it give yourself time be kind to yourself and heal in your own way <clears throat> sorry I have a frog in my throat today so we all grieve differently we all heal you know in the timely manner that we you know we are we allow ourselves to I mean I don't know how to put that we we just all uh, grieve and we all heal differently some people can get over deaths really easy but a lot of us you know it takes a long time and some of us it takes even longer so don't let anybody tell you that you have only this amount of time to heal from whomever you lost you have you know as long as you want just try not to be stuck in that because it can affect your life in the future and um, and you know your loved one would never want that so find a way to bring harmony back into your life take the first step maybe you need to um, come up with a hobby maybe you need to find a way to release the pain and, and the grief that you're feeling from losing your uh, loved one maybe create a you know one of those blankets that you piece together people's clothing or you know you cut them up and make them into squares or you make a scrapbook or you plant a tree or you do something like that that will you know honor them but will give you a place to go or you know or say if you take a nap you could uh, take a nap with that blanket um, or if you plant a tree that will give you something to do when you go out in nature you could go visit them there or you know just find a way that you could you're able to bring harmony back into your life because that's so important and again they would really want that okay so your next three cards are going to be uh, messages from the angels and the first one is romance so either you already have maybe a romantic partner maybe you know who you would like to have her as a romantic partner maybe um, you're needing to add some romance into a relationship you already have they want you to really concentrate on that they it's they want you to to find romance they want you to you know make your romance better um, because they believe that that will help you heal your heart it will also distract you and I hate to say that but it will also distract you so then you will be able to concentrate on something else and if your marriage or relationship is lacking try to bring romance back into it because that's really important and if you do it will be very successful you'll have success so know that and then they also want you to compromise with whatever romantic partner we are speaking of it's really important that you learn to compromise with them um, I know we all have our, our set ways we all like to do things in certain ways but we need to learn how to compromise with others so okay so the next three are going to be out of the angels and ancestors deck 
And the first one is going to be Snake Shed Old Skin. So with this, they would like you to release anything that is no longer serving a purpose in your life. No longer uh, providing anything good in your life. You need to shed all that old skin. But that also includes like, you know, past hurts, the grief. You know, they want you to really focus on being healthy and happy and um, just really making your, your now and your future a lot better than what it's been. They don't like to see you sad. They don't want you to spend years grieving over them because we will, that when we pass away, when it's our time to go, they will be waiting there with, for you with open arms. And you you have eternity. You will be with these people lifetime after lifetime, if you believe that, I do. But just know that they're never, you know, their physical bodies are wore out. They're, they're not... They're not, they're not gone. Their souls are still alive. Their souls are, are all around you. So it's, you know, you just need to try and shed away all the pain. Heal from it. You know, take time. Go away for a weekend. You know, start going out into nature. Go hiking and stuff like that. That really does help. Your next card is Father Sky. Trust in the unknown. So don't be fearful of things that you don't know about. Trust that your path is unfolding exactly as it needs to. You have a personal relationship with the Great Father. Know that He is lovingly leading you forward. So know that you are being guided forward. They're, you know, all of the angels and all of the, you know, spirits and they're all on your side. They're all here. to. They want you to be on the right path. They want you to be happy. They want to see you smile and and just, you know, have a great life. They want you to live the rest of your life for not for them, but they they have a lot of regrets our deceased loved ones because when they do pass over, they do know that they really should have lived life a lot differently. We shouldn't have let, you know, every little thing get to us. We shouldn't have worked so hard, you know, we needed more fun. We needed to relax, not stress. And we do learn that after we are, you know, we leave our physical body. But unfortunately, we don't know that as humans now. And that is always a big message from them. So let them lead you because they're going to lead you right to where you need to be. And your last card today is Sage. Be devoted and committed. Be willing to go the whole road and back again. This will allow you to be the best you can possibly be. So don't let fear hold you back in anything in your life is pretty much what they're saying. You know, be reliable. If you say you're going to do something, then, you know, do it. And just be committed to being living a much healthier, happier life. And just know that all of your loved ones that have passed over are there with you. They're cheering you on. You know, they're, they see your achievements. They see, you know, when you, you are promoted at work and... They see you being a good mom or a good dad, and so just know that. Okay, so your next card is not here, because that was all I had for you, Pile 1. Sorry about that. Um, I hope that this really helped you out. I hope that the message has resonated with you. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would. Um, and if you have... Thank you very much. If you would hit the like button and share this video, I would greatly appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great rest of their um, Tuesday. Get outside as much as you can because winter's coming, unfortunately. And maybe go on a nature walk this, this evening and, you know, meditate and try and connect to your deceased loved one because you have a strong soul connection to them. So it should not be very hard for you con to connect and be able to communicate better. I love you all so very much. I'm sending you all so much healing and peace. Take care. Pile two, you are up. Let me remove pile one's cards. How is everybody? I hope really good. I have my first, uh, your first three cards is going to be for my Talking to Heavens deck. And your first card is, I am so much better now. When we cross over, all our earthly worries, all our earthly pains, obviously, they are taken from us. We no longer feel stress. We no longer feel sadness. We no longer feel anything negative. It's like we walk into this, like, 
ever so happy place to where, you know, we feel happy and we're laughing and, you know, we really in, in, in enjoying our life. And we can do that here. That's what really what the message is. You know, don't live this life here on earth. Like, we, we need to, um, by being unhappy, by stressing about everything, by worrying about money, by grieving over the loss of our, our loved ones, because they're not gone. They're just, they're, they just no longer are in their physical body. Their spirits all around us, their souls live for eternity. They're, you know, they're living their life and they've, they've lived their life here. And so they're able to move on to live, you know, live as their souls are, you know, our souls are supposed to. So just um, know that they no longer feel the pain. They, they're, if you guys were fighting or if they were upset with you, know that that feeling does not exist anymore in them. And they want you to do the same. They want you to not have any ill feelings, any hurt, any pain, any worry um, be part of your life right now. They really want you to enjoy your life here on earth and be happy and just know that they are going to be there waiting for you. They love you. They, they are there to, you know lead you down the right path and they hear you if you talk to them they are communicating back they talk to you back and those little answers that pop in your head are then um answering you so your next one is it is beautiful where i am and i'm going to read this one to you i wish that for just a moment i could share my world with you this heavenly realm is beyond dis description it is where colors, hues, and patterns are all different types sing and come alive. Here there is a brilliant light that uh, lights up everything, and everything in return is filled with indescribable joy. Here you suddenly become aware that you are connected to everything. There is no anger or harshness in this world. Those emotions have been replaced with overwhelming peace and joy. And what was I just saying? It is love at its finest. It is heaven, the place where I will be waiting <coughs> to greet you one day. And that just goes along with what I just got done explaining with the last card about made me cry, so just so you know. I will always point you in the right direction. And I also was just telling you this with the first card so geez louise am i psychic or what i'll read this one to you also although i am not god or an angel i do have the ability to guide you keep in mind that i am not privy to the all-knowing wisdom of the universe for that you'd want to consult god which you can do just by asking for help however i do have the benefit of all my earthly lessons which taught me a lot. I also have a broader perspective on your circumstances from my heavenly vantage point. So you can think of me as a trustworthy confidant whom you can turn to for advice. Please know that I'll do all I can to guide you toward what's best for you. I've learned how to get my own ego out of the way and focus upon helping you and others from a place of pure love. You'll notice the signs that I send to you through your feelings, dreams, and other reminders to think of me. So, that is awesome, and that is a strong message, and I can feel your emotions, or it's my, maybe mine, but, well, my emotions are going crazy. Ooh. I really hope that those messages really, really did help you, and I got the chills, so I know it did. Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument, two sides if not more. To every story and hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how another person thinks or how an al alternate plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories 
experiences, and journeys. And some people might refuse to remain open to another's point of view. No matter what, we have been pres are pre presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things what's common ground is reached. You are attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so very much. Birds and messengers, I'm sorry, geez, here we go. Birds are messengers we use to connect with you. I gotta go let my dog out, I'm sorry, hold on. Sorry about that, my dog needed outside. So, birds are messengers we use to connect with you. So pay attention to all the birds that you see when they are chirping, you know, when they, they're out there just talking away. Really pay attention to that because I have personally, and I know other people have personally actually received messages from what they're saying because it's, it's odd. If you listen really closely and, and pay attention and really grasp what they're chirping about, sometimes you can make out words and stuff. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true, so pay attention. Listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition. And that's also, like I said, um, I don't know if it was in this, this pile or the other one, but, um, you know, we can communicate with, with our uh, deceased loved ones. We can communicate with all spirits. And, you know, people, when you, they talk about uh, clear audience, it isn't somebody just talking straight back to you at all times. It's what you, like, you'll all of a sudden get the answer in your mind. And when you do, go with it believe that message don't think that you just came up with it on your own that is your your loved ones or your guides or the angels giving you the messages or answering the questions that you have so use your intuition talk to us we are still listening man oh man see okay so this is an awesome reading i love it they're really coming through me um your next three uh cards are from my angels uh answer deck and so these are questions that should be on your mind or um, if you want to think of three questions real quick. The first one is you're ready. So whatever you're ready for, whatever you are thinking about doing, whatever job, whatever relationship, you know, move or whatever circumstance that you are thinking of, they want you to know that you are ready. So believe that. Know that you're ready. Um, perfect timing. This is the, I believe that they're telling you that this is the perfect time to go after whatever you are wanting because you're ready and it's the perfect time. And they want you to trust. They want you to trust in the situation. They want you to trust in yourself. And they want you to trust in the higher power that you are on the right path. Guardian angel, you are never alone. They want you to know that, you know, look for signs. Like, see... Say you're out in your yard. I was um, yesterday, and actually two days in a, in a row, I found two feathers. Um, and so that was my loved ones sending me, you know, letting me know that they're with me and that they're supporting me and that they love me. And I always pick those feathers up and keep them. You can find it in a penny. It could be, you, you know, if you see a beautiful butterfly fly by you or a bird. Anything that is a, a sign from the heavens. Um, above, they want you to know that they're right there with you, that you're never alone, so don't ever feel like you are. Your next one is wise one, grow within your current uh, situation. I'm going to read that one to you because um, I want to give you the message that they want you to hear. Knuckle down, be reliable and committed, be open to wisdom and insight from others from your elders. The wisdom of the wise one is based on something that the younger generation is often lacking, commitment and reliability. When this card appears, you are being guided to continue working on your growth and expansion within your current situation. Be committed to your tasks and projects. It can be very easy to get bored and overwhelmed, but do not let it distract you or stop you. You are being reminded of how it feels to be let down and experience unreliability. And that is not who you are, or that is not who you were born to be. So keep working on what you are working on because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run. So 
just be reliable for the commitments that you commit to and you don't want to be letting anybody down or not be reliable for them and you don't you know you don't want people to be doing that to you either so and your last card uh, pile two is traveler move in a new direction welcome any opportunities to travel either to the outer world or to your inner world also the road you are on may be the road less traveled but this journey is going to be highly beneficial for your emotional and spiritual growth if it isn't about covering outer distance it's about covering distance within and you will be evolving every single moment of it remember to keep things simple and listen to your load because that will make your journey more enjoyable you are also being encouraged to see how far you have come and how you have really grown as a person because this recognition will support you in going even further and there's a good chance that along the way you'll make new friends who will become companions for a lifetime so that is what i had for you pile two i really hope that these messages resonated with you i really hope that they helped you in the time of you know you're grieving and and you just know that that even when our loved ones are not here in their physical bodies they are always with us and always standing by our side and guiding us and loving us they just some of you know you're just not able to physically see and talk to them and hug them but just know that they are hugging you they are giving you kisses they are you know pushing you you know in the right path they, they're there for you and they love you very much and they don't want you to spend and you know all this time grieving them and you know and feeling heartbroken and lost without them because they're not truly gone they're just not here physically so I hope that that helps you I love you all so very much I'm sending so much healing to each and every one of you I'm always sending positive vibes and peace like always Take care, and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you.